Once upon a time, in the land of Germana, there lived a little girl by the name of Onilope. She lived with her mother, father, and older brothers and sisters. Onilope loved both her parents, and she especially loved living in the palace near the woods of Germana. Onilope enjoyed playing with her pet, cat, dog, and bird in her mother's flower's garden. She also liked talking with her friends from the nearby village. Onilope's parents were wealthy. They had their own shoes and clothes store. And her father, the king, met with the governors to discuss laws and policies concerning the land. Her mother would have lots of parties and fears. People in the village loved Onilope and her parents. However, one day after a party, her parents had a quarrel. Onilope went into her palace garden and her father left for work. He had a business meeting with the governors. Her mother was furious and she asked Onilope never to follow her father to any more business meeting and to stay inside. But she ran after her father, who was however long gone. Back at the palace, kidnappers came and took her mother, and her brothers and sisters died during the process. Onilope lost all her siblings and her mother that day. This made her and her father very sad, and for many years. Her father taught her all about the business, the family business, and look, took her to every meeting where she would participate in making laws, not just for the business, but also to govern the land. Many years have passed, and only little father met and decided to marry the wicked queen. After several years, Onilope grew more beautiful and became more brilliant at her father's business. The wicked queen was jealous. She complained, but Onilope dad defended his actions. This, however, made the wicked queen more determined. So one day, she got kidnappers to kill him. One morning, he would leave for work as usual, but he never returned. Onilope was very sad of his passing. She was reluctant to do anything and to go anywhere. The wicked queen became uncomfortable and she shouted, telling her to move on from her father's passing. Seen it has been a long time now. Onilope had to took on her father's responsibility. The ambassadors were very sympathetic. They made her feel more welcome and encouraged her involvement. She, however, declined the lifts back home and walk instead. In doing this, she was able to play with her pets and the different plants. One day, as she was walking back from what was the most successful meeting of all, some kidnappers hunted and took her. They were going to, going on the orders of the wicked queen. One of the kidnappers declined and talk to the others that he would took her for wife. He promised to marry her and she would never leave his house. So the others left. Onilepi made many attempts to escape. Many months have passed and still no help came. Onilepi 
reluctantly settled in with the kidnappers. At, it was at this point she remembered her pets. She summoned them. They searched until they found her. She sent them to find the prince and take him back to her. The kidnappers and his friends learned of this. A war ensued between them and the prince and his guards. The prince and his guards rescued Onilope. He took her to his palace for safety. One day, as the wicked queen was having her usual party, she talked up to her friends about kidnapping and kill both Onilope and her family. This they talked about without realizing that their guests were listening. They boast how Onilope had to work the field and the family business to bring them wealth. The prince heard and ordered that they deliver to him the wicked queen and the evil friends. They were beaten and put to work the field. Onilope and the prince moved into her palace where they live happily ever after. The end. They had three kids. Can you guess their names? <laughs>